In this video tutorial, we will be seeing about Sonu Easy SQL Server tool. Yes, this is easy and simple SQL tool. So in this tool, you can create your own database, you can create your own table for the database, you can create, you can insert the data and also you can select the data and also you can export the selected data to the CSV format without writing any SQL script. So here we will be having the SQL Server name we will be giving the ID, login ID and the SQL Server password. So here we will be loading all the database for from this server. So here I have added all the database. Okay. So now if we can create a database or we can delete the database like that. So now if you want to delete the database, we select one database. We click on delete. So this database will be deleted from our server. Okay. So here we can create our own database also now we have created one sample database here okay so i will be using this alp test database so if we, uh, if we select the database and if we click on load table name i will be loading all the table name from this database by default this will be empty we click on load table name so i will be loading all the table details from this database so if we let's see how to create a table so for create a table we give first table name we give a test and we give add the column for this table test id okay and here we give select the data type now for this i have restricted only three data types as numbers text and nvar cat type so here we give add it add column means we will be adding the column here and next we will give test name and we select varchar and we set that max size okay add and here the size will be as maximum and example we add a phone we select as n varchar and we set the size as 12 example we click on this so here we will have added three column finally if we click on create table we can see the new table will be created here so now we have created our own table without writing any SQL script here and next we will see how to insert the sample record to this so for here we can see now our test ta table has been created we select the table from the list and we click on load table detail so here I will be loading all the this will be as dynamic so if depend on this selected table I will be loading all the column with text box and for numbers the only numbers can be input the text cannot be uh, 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 inserted to this number field and also maximum uh, for the for the depend on the column size we can enter only maximum size so here we have entered 12 like this so if we now test we add the if we click on insert one record will be inserted here okay so and if you want to delete this table record data we can click on delete selected table records so next we have the select query in select query if we click on load table columns to select i will be loading all the column from for this table so if we want to display only name and phone we click on this and all column means we will be displaying all the columns from here okay if i click on if uh, the all column is selected if i click on run select query I will be displaying all columns if we want to display only two columns we uncheck this all columns and we click on run select query okay and next one we will be having the, we can write our own SQL script over here now example if we, we can write our own SQL script here we click on run means it will be displaying all the record here okay and also we can save this script and also we can load from the SQL script so now example I have uh, saved some sample uh, script okay so here we will be having the we have saved this data okay if we click on run SQL query so here we have three tables like employee uh, emp salary and emp profile so now what I have done is from this uh, emp uh, employee table and employee salary I use the join so now if we, we can use inner join okay we can run this ok 
so there is no record okay so here what i will be doing is we can also export this data to the csv format if you click on export we can save this one and if we can open the csv file we can check that that if exported data will be here is the csv format okay and also if we want to uh, summary we can also add the summary okay now we will be adding the sum okay sum, sum and we will be adding group by a dot m name okay so here i have given the wrong column name so now we can see that for this uh, particular user we will be having this summary data of the salary so here we get the allies name Okay, so now we can also save this. Okay, now and also we can load that saved SQL script. Okay, so now we can load this one and we can run it here and also export to the CSV file. So this is the simple and easy SQL tool. Hope you like this. Okay, thank you.